the God of the Hebrews will take down Baal and Baal worshippers. Okay? He's going to do what he did to Pharaoh, but this will be done on a global scale. Read it. Verse 44. And I will punish Baal in Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up, and the nations shall not flow together any more unto him. And no more will Babylon accept all nations with the Statue of Liberty. Bring me your poor, bring me your dejected, bring me your, your immigrants. No more will people be clamoring to get in that country. The glory of her and the pomp of her will fall. For the Most High told us to proclaim this throughout the four corners of the earth. Because it don't stop with her. Because after her, who comes next? Asia will be the next one that will fall. And you will never guess who's going to fall after Asia. You're sitting in her. This is the chronological order of the fall after this war. And we're going to prove that. Let's get the one in Zephaniah. We're in Zechariah 14 and 12. Then after that, we're going into the Apocrypha to give you the, the chronological order on how this is going to happen. Read it. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Most High will smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem. So this is the plague in which the Most High will use against those that are fought against God's God's people all through the earth. See, Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and was not regarded as a people. And this, 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 this had been for hundreds of years. For hundreds of years, Israel, God's people, have been ignored. But you know what? You would never guess who was looking down on his people the whole time. Even though society had ignored them, the Most High himself. So this is the plague that the Most High will use against them that have fought against his people. Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What weapon can be used to make your flesh consume away while you're standing on feet? A nuclear blast. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes as you stand. Read. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouths. Read. Verse 13. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Most High shall be among them. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. And that's the end result. Total warfare. Every hand on his neighbor, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You had your hand up? They showed it in that movie Terminator. Exactly. Which, you know, you see the swing going around, the little seesaw, and then she was in the playground, she was holding the gate. And it's just consumed right off of her flesh. You can see her skull in her hands, her skull and her bones. That's a nuclear blast. That's, that's the waster that the Most High had created to, to actually allow that place to be like Sodom and Gomorrah, ashes. And see, some people would like to say the Bible is not incorrect or the Bible is, is not true. If you go to these same places that the Bible speaks of, you'll see suffer from the ashes and suffer in the Sodom and Gomorrah today. The whole valley is packed with suffer. It's, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's if they put the whole country or that area, that region, in an oven. Sulfur. I know y'all, you know, it's, it's the, uh, the American accent. Sulfur. <laughs> yeah. Read. Verse 13. And it shall come to pass at that day that a great tumult from the Most High shall be among them. And they shall lay hold everyone on the hand of his neighbor. And they shall lay everyone on the hands of his neighbors. 
See, when that first missile is shot, one missile will be shot after the other like we went into a few weeks ago. But we're going to go into a little detail to show you exactly what's going to happen. Go to 2 Peter 3 and 9 and let's get the Apocrypha. We're going to get 2 Peter 3 and 9. And I'm grabbing uh, 2nd Ezra, it's the 16th chapter. Because you have many countries that will get involved once that first fire is shot. You have uh, Syria who will get involved. You have these Middle Eastern countries with nuclear capability. They will get involved. Read 2 Peter 3 and 9. Go ahead. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. And the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. Read. As some men count slackness. People think that the Most High is slack because judgment have not hit the earth at its fullest. Read. But is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Most High will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's a boom. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What can make the elements melt with fervent heat? And which element is on fire? Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. That's how you cleanse. That's exactly how you cleanse a situation. You can purify it with water, but you can cleanse it through fire. You can cleanse something through fire. And that's, what's, that's when the Lord says we shall go through the fire and come out like pure gold. It's talking about going through this fire that will hit this earth. Go to 2nd Ezra 16 to pinpoint the countries that will be judged. 2nd Ezra 13 and let's start at 34. Read. 2nd Ezra. Hold on. No, 15 and 34. Let's start at 15 and 34. I'm sorry. Behold, clouds from the east and from the north unto the south. And they are very horrible to look upon. Full of wrath and storm. This is talking about mushroom clouds. Read. Verse 35. They shall smite one upon another. And they shall smite down a great multitude of stars upon the earth. Even their own star. When it says even their own star, again, back then, America's or the Western world technology was not founded. So what the prophets are seeing here is what looks like stars going from one place to the next. These are missiles being shot. You understand? Read. And blood shall be from the sword unto the belly, and blood of men unto the camel's hoof. Unto the camel's hoof. That show you the region they'll be fighting. Camels are in the Middle East. Read. Verse 37. And there shall be great fearfulness and trembling upon the earth. And they that see the wrath shall be afraid. And trembling shall come upon them. And then shall there come great storms from the south. And from the north. And another part from the west. And strong winds shall arise from the east. And it shall open it. And the cloud which he raised up in wrath. And the stars stirred to cause fear toward the east and west wind shall be destroyed. The great and mighty cloud shall be lifted up full of wrath, and the star. They that make all the earth afraid. And they that make all the earth afraid. When it says the star, it's talking about the nuclear hit. I'm going to show you. Read. And them that dwell therein. And they shall pour out over every high and eminent place. All the high places in the Middle East. Read. And horrible star. And horrible star. Read. Verse 31, fire, and hell, and flying swords. And flying swords, read. And many waters. And many waters, because what happens when, nuclear, uh, when a nuclear bomb hits in an area? It moves waters. Go ahead. That all fields may be full, and all rivers with the abundance of great waters. And they shall break down the, the cities. And that's showing tidal waves. How you doing, young man? How you doing? Read. And they shall break down cities, 
and rocks, mountains and hills, trees of the wood, and grass of the meadows, and their corn. It's in their grain. It tell you that in second Ezra, it's their grain. Read verse 43. So right after the wars where the camel's hoofs are, you would never you would never imagine where the battle will, will go next. Read. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon. And right after that, the war will go to Babylon. Read. And make her afraid. And make her afraid. Read. They shall come to her and besiege her. The star and all that shall pour shall they pour out upon her. Then shall the dust and smoke go up unto the heaven, and all they that be about her shall bewail her. Now let me read what it says in the annotated apocrypha, which is the English translation for that last verse. It says, they shall come, it says, it says, uh, they shall go on steadily to Babylon and blot it out. They shall come to it and surround it, like we read in Jeremiah. And thou shalt pour out on it the tempest and all its fury. Then the dust and smoke shall reach the sky. Mushroom cloud, that's what that is. And all who are around about it shall mourn for it, like we read in Revelations 18. And those who survive shall serve those who have destroyed it. So right after America falls... All power goes over to who? Asia. All power goes to Asia. Most people think that the Persians are original Middle Easterns. But they are actually Japhetic in the tents, tents of Shem. They are Asians. The Iranians. They are Asian. But this is talking about their family of the Oriental Asians. So they correct when it's the Asians over here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, but they're in the tents of Arabia, so you think that they are the same families as Ishmael, but they're not. They are Japhetic families. They're not Ishmaelites over there in, uh, in Iran. They're Medes. Medes are family in the tents of Shem. They're Japhetic people living in Shemitic land. You with me? So now, when it comes to the stock markets, and, and Times Square and all the little things we're used to in the United States, what country have mimicked themselves to be able to take the slack right after America falls? 